Hey, hello guys, this is your host Kaurav and you are watching Tactician channel. Guys, in this video session, I will be showing you how to recover your lost data of files from your Android smartphone. Well, it's very easy. Trust me, it's very easy. You just have to download this application called Dr. Phone Toolkit for Android. You can find the link in the description below. So just go there and download this application and install in your system. Well, I have done it. So here it is. I'm just going to open this application and it looks like this. Well, so here you get these old features. Guys, let's talk about these old features. What you get here, data backup and restore, data recovery, root, data extraction from damaged device, which is really great, lock screen removal, data eraser, sim unlock, and of course, screen recorder. Well, in this video, we will be talking about only data recovery options. So let's get started. Well, so first of all, you have to do something with your Android smartphone. You have to connect your Android smartphone with your PC using USB data cable. So let's do it. Let's do it, guys. And then we have to do some settings in our Android smartphone. Well, guys, just open settings and then find out the about phone section. Okay, here it is. Just open it and then find the build number. We have to click seven times on this build number to enable our developer options. Uh, okay, so I have already done it. So I have developer options enabled. So go back side and then go to advanced settings and find out the developer options. Okay, here it is. So just open it and uh, just check the USB debugging option in the developer options. So here it is USB debugging options. You have to enable it. Once you enable the USB debugging options, then that's it. Well, now once you are done with your uh, phone settings, then you just need to click on this data recovery option in your uh, application. And then, okay, so it's showing me connect your device to PC, means my phone is not connected yet. So you just need to uh, disconnect this USB cable, your USB cable from your phone and uh, reconnect it. Okay, so now it's showing me connecting. Okay, so now we have to wait. It will install your phone's drivers automatically. As you can see on the screen, Installing driver for Gioni F103 and now it's still connecting. Okay, so let's wait. Okay, so uh, now this screen says that if the OS version is 4.2.2 or above, then please authorize your PC while your device is below, which means on your phone screen a pop up will be displayed look like this where you have to click on OK button. Okay, if you can't see this pop up, then you have to click on show again button in this application. As you can see, here's the button show again button. If you click on show again button, then this pop up will be appeared again on your phone screen and you can click on OK button. Okay, so that's it from your Android phone side. Okay, so once you click on OK button, then it, it will show you uh, this status again connecting, connecting and connecting. So let's wait. Okay, so now it is connected means our phone is connected with our PC. Well, so uh, here it shows me that uh, uh, what type of files I can recover. So you can select uh, the type of files, whatever you want to recover, like contacts, messaging, call history, WhatsApp messages and attachments, documents, videos and audios and gallery. Whatever you want to recover, you can select. Otherwise, you can deselect. Well, so I keep selected these uh, three options, contacts, messages and gallery. And then we need to click on next button. Okay, so once you click on next button, then it shows you two options scan for deleted files and scan for old files. If you select scan for deleted files, then it uh, it will take less time to complete because uh, uh, you are scanning only deleted files. But if you select this option scan for old files, then it will uh, take a little more time because you are scanning these old files uh, in your Android smartphone. Okay, so now we have here a few things we need to know before uh, starting. So first one is the program will root your device automatically during the process because because it will allow more access to recover your data second one is once the recovery has been completed your device will go back to the unrooted status third one is the root and unroot operation will not void your warranty and fourth one is please ensure that your phone has at least 20 percent battery before you click start means once you click uh, start button then your phone will be rooted automatically and then unrooted automatically once this process has been completed and you don't need to worry about your phone's warranty because uh, it will not void your warranty at all well so uh, the scanning process has been started and we just need to wait now 
Well guys, I'm going to escape this step and show you the last step when I have recovered uh, this old file successfully. So uh, let's skip it. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, we have uh, recovered our file successfully. So uh, okay, so not recovered yet. You have to select the files and click on recover button to uh, recover these old files. Basically, okay. So here we uh, here you can see the messages, contacts, and uh, images. Okay, so uh, you have to select these old uh, files one by one. Okay, so here messaging and images. Okay, now we need to click on recover button. So let's click on it. Okay, uh, click on continue. Okay, here you have to select the path where you want to save the uh, this, this recovered files. So uh, I keep the default path as it is. Okay, so now uh, files has been saved here. So you can check it out. These are the folders where we have our recovered files like uh, contacts, images, and messages. So images formats you can see uh, JPG and PNG, and uh, for contacts and messaging, you can see the uh, different formats like uh, CSV, HTML, and XML. So uh, I think this is the best application I have ever seen. This application works very well and I really like this application. Guys, if you want to recover your data, your lost data from your Android phone uh, or from your SD card, then you can use this application. I highly recommend to use this application guys. You can uh, check the link in the description below. So just go there and try this application guys.